Hey passengers, welcome back. Today we are at SeaWorld Orlando because we're banned from the Gucci store. <laughs> Hey passengers, welcome back. Today we are here at SeaWorld Orlando. We're gonna have a great day today. It is hot, it, the sun is beating down on us, but here in a little bit, it's scheduled to rain. So we wanna hurry up and get a lot of things done. So come on, follow along. Hey Joe, do me a favor, roll that intro. We are just getting started. We had to stop at guest services and the photo key uh, location. As pass holders, we're able to have one year f uh, free photos being taken, um, like some of the other places have, but they just changed their system a couple days ago, so we it was an, a whole ordeal. We got it fixed. Uh, the staff, amazing, absolutely amazing. So. Got a lot to do. Oh my goodness, this rain. We just looked at the radar and the rain is just moments away. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's sunny out here right now. But that radar is showing there's a band coming. I think I'm gonna be riding this one. I think that's Manta. I think that's what we're doing next. That was my first time watching go through, and I saw right here that the water was raised. Now you're laying flat, like facing down, straight down. Am I gonna get wet on this ride? What has Joe done? He's making me get, I have a feeling I'm gonna get wet. As I'm about to get onto Manta, I just saw a sign that reminded me that this is the first day of Hallow Scream here at SeaWorld Orlando. This is the first year that they put this attraction on for Halloween. So we're not doing it, unfortunately. I would love to do it. Maybe I'll come back later this month, try it out. But look at that, that's Manta. So this is an attraction where you do have to put all your belongings into a locker and make sure you don't lose anything. Uh, one of the people at guest services, she reminded us that Manta loves cell phones. So there you go. Put your arms out. Oh my gosh, here we go. We just got done riding Manta. Wow, wow. Wow, that's my first time being on that ride. And you're upside down. Well, you're laying flat, I should say. Um, and at certain times you're upside down. It is the weirdest thing. Do I love it? Yes. But I gotta let you know, if you have a bad neck, do not think you're gonna leave here uh, pain free because my neck is killing me right now. The way you're sitting, you're like in a Superman pose, but it hurt really bad. I met a great family. Um, that asked if we want to go ahead of them so that they can sit all together so we didn't have to stay in line. That was so thankful. Um, we we're so thankful that they did this. So thank y'all. And they're from uh, Ohio. How many times have you been here to the SeaWorld? This is the first time. Will you come back? Yeah. Lots of fun, was it? Awesome. Well, you'll see us at Cedar Point sometime. We will definitely go to Cedar Point. All right, so have fun, have a great day. Thank y'all, we'll see you around. Yes. Man, it was so much fun, I had to ride it again. This time we sat in row five and I was on the right hand side and when we went over the water, my knees got soaking wet. That's all though, the rest of my body stayed dry. Um, it was refreshing, definitely was that. Great time, I would highly recommend it. Now. I do have a couple of tips I do want to tell you because I saw some earrings, I saw some necklace pendants, I saw sunglasses, the lens, um, I saw uh, people's like hair. Some I don't know how that happened, but when you go on a ride like this, please be careful. Think of your items that could possibly fall off because the ride will always win. <laughs> well, hi there. How are you? Hi, pretty bird. What's your name? Number two? two? What, what is that? Twelve? Your number twelve? 
All right. And I had to stop and get a beverage of my choice. It's really loud through here. But if you are purchasing merchandise, including alcoholic beverages, if you are a pass holder, you do get the discount. So I got $2 off because of my pass discount. Highly recommend you use it. We sure have had a great time with SeaWorld and being able to go to Busch Gardens, Tampa, Busch Gardens, Virginia. I can't wait to get out to California and, I, and San Diego, and I can't wait to go to San Antonio this year to use this pass that I have. Yeah, I'll be 100% uh, I'll be renewing this pass. Look at this. Look, that's Bob Ross. You can get yourself a Bob Ross um, from the claw. A happy little Bob Ross with, huh. with a chill foot. A chill foot, yeah. So a dollar equals one play, five dollars, seven plays for you to try to get yourself a big Bob Ross. They have the smaller ones. Are these small? Yeah, these are smaller. Can you guess what area we're coming into? Hey, you got it. We got them to come into the Pacific Point Preserve. These sea lions are so cute. <laughs> We'll get you some. Look at how cute those ears are. Our protecting our quickly, our quickly. Our quickly. quickly. Do what you slow and the bird will The bird's going to get him. These birds can be aggressive. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so we got five of these trays, and I accidentally dropped one of them empty into the area, and one of the seals uh, picked it up, and I thought it was going to eat it, so I went and talked to one of the staff members, and they did say that um, they probably won't eat it, they'll play with it in the water. So, But this is a soy-based product so that it will dissolve at some point. And hopefully they don't adjust it. But if they do, it will be okay. Every time that I see a sea lion, I always think of my friends in the UK, in England I should say, um, Bob and Sally. Uh, we met at San Francisco and we've been Facebook friends ever since. I can't wait to meet up with y'all again another time, but every time I see these somewhere, it just makes me think of y'all. Look how cute. Sea lion. He's a big boy. For you. Yeah. So the babies here, are they bred here or are they brought in from? No, nope, they're bred here. They're bred here? Yeah. Wonderful. Is there, are the males and females, um, are there several males in this group? There are several males. Yeah. But majority, um, some of the pups are born from the lesser dominant males, but majority of them will be from our male Cheeto. Okay. Yeah. Is, he the, is Cheeto the big one? Yeah. yeah. Around, he's got a big head. Yeah, really big head. Real big head. Yep. He was so, over here and there. So yeah, he's the, the daddy. Head. He's the daddy the majority of them? Majority of them, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's Sounds Cheeto. good. That's him. Yep, that's that head. <laughs> the big sagittal crest, all that muscle. Yeah. It's kind of how we identify him. He's just also very large. <laughs> very large. I saw. Yes, hi. Big but we purchased, um, we did the five. Of fish and it was so much fun feeding them. Thank you all for letting us do that. You know, I think it's amazing that, and I didn't get to see him, but wow. The, 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 how old is he? In his 30s. Me, I wish I, I wish I could say 
Let me play. We don't want to keep your time. And, but that's Cheetah? Yeah, that's Cheetah. Cheetah. Cheeto. Cheeto. Oh. Like a yeah. All right, we're leaving this area because I could stay here all day long. And Joe has reminded me we've got to go. Um, there's just not enough time in the day. And that rain is not here yet. Uh, that, it's on its way. Uh, hopefully it'll miss us, hopefully. There's a show going on. I don't know what, what's going on, but uh, we're not gonna be able to see it, it doesn't look like. Anyway, we got a lot more to do. Follow, come on. So we just passed in these little hallow screen, little pop-ups, and today is the very first day for SeaWorld here on, in Orlando that they're gonna introduce Howl O Scream. Just happen to have a couple people that we know that are gonna be working here. Um, there is also, if you don't wanna be like terrified, you can purchase a lanyard, I think it's like 15 bucks, that uh, lights up and they can see it to try not to scare you as much. I just got done riding Mako, not once, not twice, three times in a row. I don't know if I've ever been able to do that before. How much fun, oh, I just love it. This one it makes you feel like you are coming out of your seat. It's got a huge, huge, huge drop. Uh, Joe, do you know how big that drop is? I think it's 200 feet. 200 feet, my God goodness oh so much fun though i'm not gonna lie to you i want to ride it again you keep hearing me say during this episode that we're trying to uh get rid of or we're trying to beat the storm coming in and time keeps going the storm is not here the clouds are getting a little thicker but um i don't know we have so much we're to still do explore yeah yeah we got so much to do come on it's like Animal Kingdom on crack. We are in the shark encounter and we're going to encounter some sharks. <laughs> anyway, there's hopefully it's so cool. I can't wait to see it. I wish they had benches. I just sit and watch them all day long. Look at this. How cool is this? Oh, I love an indoor tank like this. Uh, there's 
the shark. And that's probably why these fish were doing that. Oh, that lobster. That's cool. The rock lobster. That's a black fin fit, uh, shark. One thing about me is I am a master scuba diver. It's been a while since I've been able to get back into the ocean. So seeing all the fish and seeing all the um, features really makes me happy. I love it. Yeah, there's different kinds of lobster, Caribbean spiny lobster. Uh, 15 pounds, 18 inches, wow. Okay, so those lobsters lock, they, they lack the uh, front claws that you see in like Maine and such. Look at them, look at them all over. They're just walking around and we're walking and we're walking. <laughs> I bet they still taste pretty good though. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, shapes. Boo. A thresher. Oh, I didn't realize that one was bigger. Alright, a blind shark. Blue. It's a, eel. <laughs> it's a big what? Oh, he's huge. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness, it's so bones, yeah. My goodness. <laughs> All right. As scuba diving in Hawaii, I would see a lot of eels. I kind of would play with them a lot. I've never seen one this big. This thing is monstrous. Well, this is called the shark encounter, and we've seen um, one shark so far, but I've seen so many beautiful fish. And look, they even have a uh, smaller aquarium for you to enjoy. A great white skeleton. Wow. Yeah. Wow, so cool. Mako, that's what I rode, yeah. <laughs> Just 14 feet. Whale shark, yeah, they're big, but they don't. Great white, 21. Nurse, yeah, that's for. Tiger sharks, nope, no thank you. They'll eat just about anything dead or alive, that's right. So, as a scuba diver, I would see a lot of black uh, tips. First time I saw a um, tiger shark, I was like, nope, not today, not today. I think we finally found the sharks. It's almost like the Georgia Aquarium. Look how cute this swordfish is, or this uh, this one is. It's not a I know, I, I, chainsaw shark. I said it wrong. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hey. I said the name wrong, but we got a good one up there. Can you see him? Maybe not be able to see it. Too light. This video may not show. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Look at it, just chilling like. You're not a shark. 
What's up, brother? He waved. Probably could have stayed here all day. Look at these babies. Look at those gills. What's up, Gil? You shall go in. Okay, it's cold in here. For the first thing you look at, look at these babies. Ooh, it's cold. Look at all that fish. They're not liking it though. Yeah. One of them actually paid. Bundled up. <laughs> I just talked to you. Hi, thanks for being here. All righty. Love it. How cold is it in here? It's 32 degrees. 32 right now? Yep. So that's freezing temperature and the water is not. About 35 to 50 or so. Okay. Nice. How many birds are in here? How many penguins? Five different types, and uh -huh. there are about 300 of them in here. Oh. Some juveniles from last winter. Okay. Uh, we have the cane penguins. They're going to be the ones with the yellow chest. Oh, okay. The juveniles are going to be the big brown and fluffy. Oh. Uh, we have gentoos from white cat They're going to be the fastest penguin of all 18 species. Oh, really? They're roughly about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Oh, wow. We also have true Antarctic and Fazelis. They just have white spots on their eyes. Okay. Um, they like the cuteness pull you. They're, they're tough cookies. I bet, yeah. <laughs> we also have chin straps, little band on their throat, and then last but not least, the ones with the eyebrows on the leaks are going to be the rock hoppers. Oh, wow. So, being that there's no uh, predators for them, they don't have to worry about that. Exactly. Um, do they all get along very well in here? Even in the wild, they'll all be like colonies neighboring each other, okay. or sometimes going back and forth between each other. Okay. Um, but because the predators, there's no predator, they get healthy food, of course, the veterinary checkups. Right. They, some of our penguins have been double up usually with, um, with their life expectancy. Really? Mm -hmm. Are, is this place a, um, is it, are they bred here, or is it? We do have a training program, especially for some of the ones that are more endangered. Okay. Um, other zoological facilities to help like train for the genetics as well. Okay. Just so there's a healthy family branch essentially. Wow. Are any of these rescues? Uh, occasionally we'll get like very rare cases. Not so much with these five species, but we do get Magellanic. Okay. We work with a company in Australia that does like rescues for the Magellanic species. Okay. We get a few rescues from there. From wow. The Love it. Well, thank you. What was your name? Marissa. Hi, Marissa. I understand. It's 32 degrees. It's cold. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, thank you very much for the conversation. Thanks for learning. I love education. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Thank, thank you. you. Sleeping? Oh, a chocolate thing. Oh, she said what that one was. Um, yeah. And there's even more over here. Here, I want to give that to Marissa. A card. Yeah, the ambassador. The chocolate one. This one's just letting all the snow get on him. He don't care. Yeah, there's one over there, he just woke up. That one just woke up? Oh, cool. Hi, y'all. This brown baby over here is a juvenile. And he will end up looking like them, but currently, hey, hey, Joe, it's a juvenile of one of these ones here. That's he's just a baby. Yeah. The brown one, he turns. 
he turns into his feathers will change into all of that. Flightless in air, fantastic in water, yes. 25 miles per hour, imagine that. We can go further down if we wanted. We do have the Kraken to see. How cool is that? We got to learn so much information so quick. You know, it's 32, it's freezing. It's like walking inside of a cooler uh, or a freezer. I gotta go. There's so much more I wanna see. We're gonna ride the Kraken next. Arr. What a fantastic exhibit. Wow, these penguins are beautiful. And to see them swimming and to see their, uh, their, their feathers be waterproof and the air coming off, oh, so cool. just got done riding the Kraken. Yes, it's a great ride. I recommend it. Why is nobody else riding it? I don't know. It was a walk-on. Today has all been a walk-on. It's been wonderful. One thing I like about the Kraken is that the seats, um, if you're a bigger person, you can get in row uh, four or row five and be able to fit in those. Me, you know, I've gained a lot of weight and I don't deny any of that, but I will say um, that I was able to sit front row this time and the seatbelt worked. Thank you. <laughs> So to be able to participate in the VIP, whatever it's called, yep. how do you do that? So that's our Dolphin Up Post Tour. Oh, okay. Uh, and then to be able to get access to that, just if you head over to guest services, yeah. I'm not sure if we're doing any more tours today. No, no, I'm good for today. Yeah. I just saw, I'm like, I love it. Yeah. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, so that's the Dolphin Up Post Tour. We okay. have two. The other one is called Dolphin Encounter, and it only lasts about five minutes. Okay. It's a little bit less money. Right. Um, but this one, I think, usually lasts 10 to 15 minutes. Sweet. And you get to be back over there, you get to give them some commands, stuff like that, and then you get to be splashed by it. Oh, even better. Exactly. Awesome. But yeah. Uh, guest services, which is right up yeah. here. Um, towards the front of the park, they have all that information. Thank you so very much. We have two. I'm guessing five or six were in here. That's what we have right now. Oh, are there? Yep. Oh. Yep. They're just spread out. Oh, right there we there go. Sasha and her calf Spark. He is a year and a half. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. He's our youngest. And the one that's doing all that snapping, that is Jen. Uh, yeah. Short for Genevieve, and that is one of our oldest dolphins here. She is just about 40. Wow. And, and she does that for fun and just goofy. Yeah. I mean, we all do some things that don't make sense sometimes. We all do goofy stuff. Yeah. So, and they had the the, um, uh, the balls out here for them to play with and yep. such. Yep. Awesome. I, I mean, I could sit here for hours and watch them. Oh, exactly. So, all right. Have a wonderful day, Ryan. You too. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks again. Can you make it? Oh. 
It is stuck. It's gone up. Oh, it's oh, it's broken up, up top. Aw. Okay, now I understand it though. Go back a little bit to show the full scale. Nice. I fully understand it now. It's actually a Starbucks. They serve it here, but they're called like Thursday Coffee Company instead. It's like a Uber, but it's a thing to Is it a true Starbucks? Yeah, it's a Starbucks. Oh. Oh look, you can get the Custer cutouts. That'd be cool for enthusiasts. Oh, how cool is that? Sir Winston Wall. See him award, Sea Lion? That's cool. The, what does that read? Virgil? Virgil. Is it Virgil? Virgil, yeah. Virgil, cool. Those are cool. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Really? I've never gotten that soup on this ride. Oh my wow. goodness. Wow. Oh my god. It just won't stop. <laughs> Oh my. Yeah, see, they didn't get as wet as we did. They're yeah. just in the back. Because I'm fat. They're not. No, no, it's the big drop does nothing. The little one foot dip soaks you, you know? <laughs> what a fun ride. I want to show you something to you. And look at his shorts. Here, turn sideways. Look, you see? Wow. So. We got soaked. They do have these family dryers here. $5 if you want to get in there, but it's the end of our day. We'll try it another time. It was so much fun. I'm so glad we waited to the end of the day to do that because we are soaking wet. Oh well, had a great time. You know what, if you like this video and others like it, hit that subscribe button. Also click that bell for future notifications. You don't know where we're gonna go to next, and neither do we. That's the best part about being a traveling jump seater. All right, y'all, we'll see you soon, okay? Bye.